huge messaging service with respect to GCP. GCP is Google Cloud Platform and this is yet another you know web services uh, like Amazon. We have AWS provided by Amazon and we have uh, you know, Azure provided by Microsoft. And now Google is also providing web services. Uh, it's called Google Cloud Platform. Now uh, we have SQS service and other messaging service uh, in Azure also. Uh, so in terms of you know GCP, let's see how to use those service and the service here it's called PubSub service. So before that, you know uh, we're gonna uh, see uh, how to log into GCP console. Now I'm gonna show you the URL. So uh, Basically, if, uh, you have to just you know log into Google Cloud Console. Just type in Google Cloud Console and you know log into Google Cloud Console, and uh, your first project would be created. Or else you can create a custom project as well. Uh, so now, if you see, this is my project, and uh, here you have you know an option to select. Uh, the services so here you can type pub sub now if you enter you would be taken to the screen where pub sub services are available now you can see you know the predefined or you know uh, previously created queues and other information i'm going to show you how to you know start from the beginning now if you see here uh, there is something called create topic right so now uh, look at this go to this and say create topic now you have uh, an option to give topic id topic id would be your queue name so queue basically is a repository wherein you know you can add your messages to so you can post messages to your queues so uh, let me uh, give my own you know, queue id or uh, a custom key id or oh, sorry a queue id uh, let's say queue demo so you have two options of encryption you can go with you know no configuration required the google managed key or the customer managed key which no, require certain amount of configuration so uh, you can say create topic once you say create topic the topic gets created the topic basically is your queue so now it's created so now we have to you know uh, publish message so uh, here is an option Probably, you know, um, look at this. Go to this publish option and type in your message. I'll say this is my sample message. All right. So now this is my message, and you can add attributes as well in case if you have some meta details, meta. Uh, information to be added to your message so uh, that can be added so maybe you can say you know uh, message type and say JSON so you can add an attribute and then say publish so ideally your message should get published uh, to your topic so i guess message is published so let me you know go to this option called weave messages uh, this option and then when i click on this you would be taken to a screen where you can weave the message uh, now it says select uh, subscription now there's a drop down uh, in case if you are going to create multiple subscription so uh, before you know uh, weaving the message 
you have to add a subscription. Probably we missed that step. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create subscriptions. Or we already have the subscription. So probably, um, can we make use of the subscription? Or let's say we're gonna create a new subscription. We have, uh, you know, um, a create subscription button over here. So let me create a subscription. I'm gonna create a new ID. And I'm gonna select the project. I'm gonna select the topic as well under which the subscription has to be created. So this is uh, the project and you can define all these parameters in case if you want to customize. I'm gonna leave it as it is. For now, I'm gonna just say create. So this should create your subscription. So if you see, uh, this is processing at the processing stage. So uh, see now if you see this subscription is created. Now let me you know try to weave message. So now I have pull option over here. I'm just gonna say pull and message should be visible. In case if message is not visible, that means the message is not posted to the subscription. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go back and then I have an option over here. Let me see what option we have. Um, we have view permissions, delete. We can edit the subscription um, or let's go to the topic. We have topics over here. Well, we have publish message. We're gonna create a new message. This, um, this is a new message under this subscription. So I'm gonna type a message and we can add an attribute name of creator so I'm gonna just add some you know dummy meta details and I'm gonna say publish so message is published so I'm gonna say view message and I can select the subscription and I'm gonna say pull. So now this, uh, if you see here, you know, the body of the message says, you know, it's a new message under the subscription, whatever message we have posted. And the attribute has an attribute key and attribute value. Attribute key is being displayed over here and attribute value is being displayed over here. So now, uh, this shows how we can create a message and then retrieve message and you know we can uh, do uh, ample of other things with this message for now uh, you know, um, I'm gonna end this message or before that let me see what else we can do with this uh, once we say view message messages are available me check okay and okay for now uh, I think these are the options that we have as and when I explore the new options I mean I, I'm gonna show you 
subscription uh, i mean uh, whole topic itself it says you want to select do you want to delete the selected topic i'm going to say delete okay so it expects me to type in delete and i'm going to type and say delete so now whole you know topic is deleted it includes your message and subscription so that's it guys i mean now i'm going to explore more of these options and you know for we'll come back to you later with you know for different options available with respect to pubsub service thank you